Yes, thank you very much. I'm really happy to have you here in Melia Serengeti Lodge. We are really proud to have you here. And we are the Maasai, and today we have to share the story about the Maasai. As I told you why, because we are really famous in Africa, right? Among of the 12 tribes of Israel, you know that? The Maasai is among of 12 tribes of Israel. There's a lost one, you know that? Who more knows? Before being in Egypt, we are the among of 12 tribes of Israel, the lost one. That's why, imagine, Jesus had the stick, in the, the shoes like us. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are among of the lost tribe of Israel. You know the 12 tribes of Israel? We have Bad, uh, Levi. You know that? 12 Yeah, you know that? Levi, no. So we are the one. But many years ago in Africa. Because it was a long time ago, not now, long time ago. So our origin is we originated from north to south world in Africa to set a good pasture for our living stock. Because we must say always we are pastoralistic people, we have goats, we have sheep, we have cows. So when the dress don't come, we have to move. So we are pastoralistic people. So we move from one place to place every day to set a good pasture for our living stock, alright? That's why. Our decision of migrating from north to south world in Africa came after we saw the birds, birds with the green leaves to the mouth. So we believed that in the south world in Africa there are the green pasture. So we moved it because, accordingly to the history, said we moved it from Egypt. That's why when you look many capital cities in Africa along the river Nile, named by the Maasai people, many national parks, many game reserves, many conservation areas namely by the Maasai people, because we migrated from north to south world. So our region is Egypt. We call it Swahili mystery. In Maasai language, which when you say mystery, mystery which means don't record, don't write. You ask me many questions, so I say mystery. Okay. You see? So the capital city of mystery or Egypt is Cairo. Cairo in Maasai language, which means where are you going? It was our language, yes. You see? So the journey was not stopped there because all of you are nomads, we migrate up to Sudan. We are living in Sudan also. And we said Sidan, Sidan, which means goods. Beautiful place, we say Sidan. But people say Sudan, but Sidan. And the capital city of Sudan is Khartoum. Khartoum is the capital city of Sudan. Khartoum, which means in Maasai language, where can I get you? Where can I find you? Abi. <laughs> yeah, so we migrate up to Ethiopia also. We have been in Ethiopia. Ethiopia is a Maasai language called Ethiopia. Ethiopia. And people, they fail to pronounce well and they say Ethiopia. Ethiopia, which means cows, cows with different colors red and white. We say Ethiopia. We moved up to Kenya, we have been in Kenya also, and we call Kenya. Kenya in Maasai language which means previous time or upon the time, previous Kenya. And the capital city of Kenya is Nairobi. Nairobi is a place which is very cold. When you are there, very cold. We say in Maasai language, Nairobi. Nairobi. So 15th century we have been in Kenya. So 17th century, we are actually here in Serengeti. And we Maasai language we call Siringat. Siringat which means the land was on forever or endless plain in Maasai language. You never see the earth because it was like ocean. We say Siringat. Siringat is endless plain or the land was on forever. It's like the same like the ocean, so no end. In Maasai language. So we have been here in uh, 17th century. Because of the, the government, they wanted the place to establish the national park, we decided to move up to Gorongoro. So after arriving in Gorongoro, we found the green pasture into the crater and we say, wow, this place is full and chill, so we never move anymore. We built a boma. Boma is a kraal like this. Or you can call boma or kraal. It's the same language. It's a rounded place 
the master he lived together with the livestock, the family that he lived with the bell. So we say goro goro, goro goro, which means the bell of the cow around the neck. Pong 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 Yes. Goro goro. We call them goro goro. Also, we have them. One of them, uh, the hills. It's like the, the mountain. The small hills we call the Gitati Hills. In Gitati Hills, in Maasai language, which means the belt of the belt of the woman, they tied. Yes, when you are pregnant, you have to tie to yourself. There are nine holes in, in, in the belt, nine holes. So because always the gestation period of human being is nine months. So you have to count yourself. So, you know now my pregnant is one month. We start with the first four. You know when the lucky so there, two, two, back in Africa, nine. That's a, why the, they call the 30 hills? Because there is nine trees. Go ahead. <laughs> yes. So after I that, the Masai they say, now we get tired. We are really tired. We must be many places in Africa. Many national parks, many games, same. many families. So we say now we are tired. We are tired. We don't look anymore. Now we are Gorongoro. That's why Gorongoro is a not a national park. It's a conservation area or CNAA, Gorongoro Conservation Area Authority. It's not at a, under Tanapa because it depends itself. It's a multiple land use because the Maasai are there together with with animals, so they share all activities in Gorongoro. That's why Gorongoro is not a national park, it's a conservation area. Because there are rules and regulations of national park, like now in Serengeti, there are, it's not allowed any accommodation of human beings, like the Maasai people to live here, their families, it's is not allowed. Maybe lodges or, uh, you know, because, but not human beings to live like in Gorongoro. <coughs> But in Gorongoro, Masai are there. That's why it's the most important thing. You understand? But Masai, we express our culture in different ways, apart from the migration. That's why we are really famous. Because the way we express our culture in different ways, the wearing styles, food also, because we prefer meat, meat, meat. meal, and blood of our cow, right? This is culture. Wearing style, as I tell you, we prefer too much sugar, but the red one. Why red one? Red one sometimes you can spot one another from far away. Apart from that, red things indicate danger. In Nigeria, that is not a good thing. In Nigeria, that. So, dangerous animals such as lions, leopards. Uh, buffaloes, but you only need to the red one who are on a TV and Bansan or type because this carrot that's why we prefer it. And we have different colors like blue, yellow, black, white, it depends on yourself, but each color indicates something. For example, I wear the blue today. Blue indicates hospitality. In Maasai. If I wear blue, I'm not dangerous anymore. That day, I'm peaceful. Well, I don't see me anymore. Anything. I'm peaceful. When I go to wash my door, because in Maasai, Maasai they don't go to the church. Maasai, we, we, we have our own God that we believe. For example, now in Gorongoro, because as I told you, Gorongoro is. The last point, the massage. We have our own Yodai 
is the first mountain in size in, in Tanzania. <coughs> the first one is Mount Kilimanjaro, the second one, Mount Chumero, the third one, we have uh, Olbenyo Nengai. The fourth one is Mount Kana. Kana is the fourth in size among the mountains that we have in Tanzania. Uh, Olbenyo Nengai is the third in size in Tanzania. So, the Olbenyo Nengai in Masai language, which means a mountain of God. Olbenyo Nengai. We call it Odonyo Dengai. Odonyo Dengai, which means the mountain of God. So when the dry season comes, we have to go there to worship our God. Our God, I say in our pronunciation, God. God, God, God. We go there, and we are, you are not allowed to wear it in that time because there is get danger. So we have to, you are supposed to wear blue, or black, or white, whatever you want, but not red. Avoid red, even in the beach. Don't wear the if you have any color that's red, remove because there you are going to worship your God, your God. Oh God, please now there is no rain and then we slow the ship. We have to go. Because we pray and we jump sometimes see everything. Alright? And also we in Maasai we have an age set organization, I mean we do things in the age group, that's why our culture is still alive. Because when we practice our culture, our culture never die. So, through the age set organization, our culture is still alive. For example, I mean, the children who from one age to seven, those are children who no special tasks apart from playing around the boma there, everything. No, no task to do. So, seven to fifty, they are already children. No, there are children who and children, children little bit, they grow so that they are able to help their parent home, home activities. For example, for boys, because in Maasai, man and women have different tasks. As a man, maybe to prepare food now, it's very shameful. Mm -hmm. If you cook, never cook, man never cook in Maasai. Maybe milking the cows in Maasai is never good, especially for women. Looking water, firewood <coughs> for women. So that time, because you are, you are a small boy, as a boy, look for cows, sheep, chatting, make sure they are safe, then bring back home. But then, then for girls, walk a mile of limit away, searching for firewood, water, everything. So, 15 to 30 years, those a group of warriors. Like us now, we are a group of warriors. In case of anything that is going to happen there in the village, we are responsible. For example, the lions come and attack the cow. We are the one who go and fight in the life of wild lion, we are the one. Because of our time, the blood of the world. During the ceremony time, because the Messiah they have ceremonies, includes the circumcision. When we circumcise the group of warriors, we just see no big ceremony. During the best time, if the woman is birth, in the big ceremony, we have to make sure that we are the one who is attended to society by jumping, singing, everything as the world, because we have all activities. So, in Maasai, warriors are a special group to the Maasai community who protect the society with their properties in case of anything that is going to happen there as a world. So, study to 45, you can say those are junior elder. Junior elder, they have been a warrior, but now they are not warrior. So, they are special to advise those warriors, because you know, sometimes you can, beat, you can beat something wrong. So, they, they are the one who are advising us for guys and guys who are doing very well. Don't do this and this and this. You see? So 45 years, the above, up to 100 years, that's senior elders, <coughs> not junior. In that time, your special task to do is all about enjoying there in the village, Drinking and alcohol, and the local one is rooming in the village, nobody tell me anything mm. because you 
You know everything. Uh, also the women. Sorry? The women, no, no, because in Maasai, women are inferior. Not superior in Maasai life. That's why you are allowed to get married with five wives, seven of them. Yes? You can get married because you are superior. But the one who have to say, Thank you so much, Saiboku. Asante sana. Asante sana. Asante sana.